feminists in rock, they, people are always looking for some front figure. Mm -hmm. uh, is, is there still a need for it? Uh, I, I think so. I don't know. Can you guys chime in and help me? I, I have contrarian opi opinions about it because I, I think focusing on gender defeats the purpose of feminism. Exactly. So I don't. So I have a. I have a different point of view. I don't think. I don't. I don't think so. I think it's just whoever has something to say and has something has a certain charisma about them, whether they're a man or a woman or a trans man or yeah. woman. It doesn't have anything to do. I don't. I don't particularly look for. Oh, I need a woman. You yeah, know? I don't. Yeah. I agree with that I... completely, but I do think too that like I the way I express myself is like through my femininity, mm. and, and that's something that makes sense to me, mm. and that's something that like I'm not gonna let get in the way of what I want to do on stage or anything like that. So yeah. that's always been important to me. And when I was young, those were the front people that made sense and connected with me. So yeah, it's a tricky question because it's like it's like, uh, are, are, am I or is she or we've all Kenny included feminists? Yeah, do I think it's important to have female front people? No, I don't give a shit. A, yeah. lot, of, a lot of female front people I don't think are any good. Yeah, yeah. same not with men. Say, like, same with men. Yeah, you know? it's not about that. It's about yeah. like, what the person's doing, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, do I think Mish is an important female front woman? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> How about you? Do they often talk about things like that backstage on the tour bus? Not particularly. You, you like put on your they earphones. Have, he and, loves it. Um, they talk about lots of stuff, not usually anything serious. <laughs> <laughs> or anything that you'll want to show on TV. <laughs> it is true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, how, is, how is it when, when the whole gang uh, is going shopping? You know, the, <laughs> That must be horror for you, right? Um, no, he likes to go off and he do loves his own. It. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah. It's, it's nice to have some alone time every now and then. And uh, <laughs> if, if I need a new jacket or something, I'll, I'll, I'll look around. It, it, it takes a day. Yeah. Think Lip is a song about hate fucking, right? <laughs> it's kind of about that. It's just, it's more me just making fun of a certain person. Kind of that song, like songs are that record. A lot of the songs are each song is maybe about two ideas or one idea or a few all mixed together. Certain lines are about one thing. It's really kind of spastic, um, but yeah, there's some stuff about hate fucking in there. I'm sure that's that's a topic you discuss on the oh, tour oh, bus. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. regular. <laughs> you talk, yeah, that's what you talk about. <laughs> You've been a figure skater, right? Yeah. I grew up around hockey players. <laughs> Um, yeah, the, yeah, I grew up around hockey players. Yeah, I was a figure skater when I was a child and like danced and that was like what I did. And then, you know, I was like 15 and started. Um, <laughs> being a figure skater, you have to, you know, it's like before school, after school, you're doing all these other training, like working out, doing ballet, all this other stuff. It's like a lifestyle and you either, when you're a teenager and you start to kind of decide, maybe I want to do the fun things. But you either commit it, or get out. You know, I never, knew, I was never going to be an Olympic champion. Let's get real here. But it helps, you know. You've been trained how to fall down. Put it that yeah. way. And like a lot of like self-discipline and stuff. I guess. I don't know. It was weird because I didn't really. It's not like anyone in my family was a skater or anything. I just like hmm. like to do it. I did pairs and, and, and now you don't hurt yourself that much when you fall no, off the stage. No, I fall all the time. I'm <laughs> one of the like clutziest people, and I bruise real easy, but that's okay. Like a little peach. <laughs> um, I know, but, your background as a figure skater blows my mind, considering I how clumsy you are. Yeah. Honestly, though, <laughs> like, I, right? if I do say so myself, I was very graceful on the ice. <laughs> very graceful. Okay. I'll show you videos. <laughs> yeah, you could use it in, in, in a music video. I, that was my well, idea. I always wanted to do that. Yeah. She wanted Because my Cause mom has all the tapes from when I'm a kid, right? Like, competing, and I did pairs for a while, and then I got too fat for my partner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens because you start to get boobs and that uh, doesn't work anymore and a butt. But yeah, she always wants to take all my old figure skating tapes and make a make music it a video. Yeah. But there's no way. Like, I, I look like a like a white little like albino alien child with my hair pulled. That's back, why it would like, be so cool. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. totally crazy, and then you can see me I'd go with that. Through. Yeah. Maybe one day we can do that. White lung. That's that's quite a disgusting uh, disease term. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been to a bakery? Like backstage in a bakery? 
I yeah. Have. Did you didn't use your work in a bakery? Yeah. Um, well, I did, but I got fired when I was really young. And then I worked at a coffee shop that had a bakery in it. Yeah, it's gross. But no, you, it's you, you, you could do like a, a band trip to a bakery. Yeah, make some cupcakes or mm. some treats. Mm, yeah. Are you good at baking? Not really. Uh, I, I enjoy baked goods, though. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> you also studied philosophy. It's, I it's studied, a- like, gender studies and feminist philosophy in university because it was really important for my parents that I finished school, and it took me forever because I had to always work. Well, like that's always uh, that's also something you you not really earn a lot. <laughs> well, no, exactly right. Like what? Yeah. Well, I thought maybe I would like to be a professor, but then I realized being in the school system forever would probably make me insane. Well, but you could still do that, you know. Yeah, I kind of miss school sometimes. After decades of touring, you come back to let's I say, could Vancouver be that, and I could be that old lady that was the one old lady in my like gender studies classes. I'm telling you the story when I met yeah, exactly. Mick Jagger. I'll mm-hmm. be super. He was annoyed. still alive. It'd be super annoying and tell stories about my days as a rocker. And everyone in the class would hate me. I, I don't know. That would be drawing pictures what. of you in the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And passing them to each other like this clown. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Do what? Hey, hey we're, we're white long, long. Mulachuk. <laughs> the only the station, station you need. need. <laughs> you have to say, and you're watching. I forgot. I don't know. Mulachuk.